Hello, beautiful people of the internet, and welcome to my little podcast. Um, I think the I think Spreaker have disabled my other podcast. I mean, they're always doing things like that. It's, so I'm not going to go on, on there for a couple of days. We'll wait and see what happens. But it's not that they've disabled it. It's that they may have stopped ad revenue. And they do that when they think that I've been spamming. And it's happened before because I put my link on 4,000 episodes on my YouTube. <laughs> so um, they just think, well, spammer. And they have to do their inquiries and prove that I'm not. Um, so I await... Um, a message and then I can let them know that I'm not spamming but you know it's spammy activity I mean I d it didn't really occur to me I didn't think about it um, and I don't really care because you know the ad revenue is a pathetic amount of money pennies in a day 10p a day or something absurd um, it's really nothing to get you know you, you couldn't buy a house with that in, in five lifetimes you know um, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. And really, this podcast is more for telling you all about, you know, the other things that we do here at Tales Hello Club, all the lovely um, the books, basically. Um, so as we approach the final chapters, I'm thinking now about reading them for, a, for an audio book and publishing them into a book on Kindle, a paperback. I wasn't sure I wanted to do that, but I, I think I will. But also a coffee table book with the wonderful, beautiful illustrations. And I did an illustration today, which I really liked. I kind of liked the style of it. And I was it's all mix, mixing things up and um, sort of collaging layers of different effects. And I, ha I, I must admit I had a bit of fun with it. So I might pursue that for for a certain style that I want to do so and, and it wasn't it didn't take as long as my you know sort of ritualistic the ones that take a week sort of thing it was a, a little bit quicker than that um and as there are so many episodes I mean I can't believe there are so many episodes up I do need a lot of artwork so anyway I spoke to my daughters about Instagram and I mean I hate Facebook and by default, Instagram, because it's the same thing. And I don't make any money with my records on these these um, sites. I think I told you the other day I've made about 5p or something ridiculous in the last quarter. Um, so I was sort of loath to get back into that. And I hate Facebook with a vengeance. But I was curious about Instagram now that I'm, you know, I've come out as an author and an illustrator and I was I so I asked them is there any point in me having an Instagram for artworks and books and my one daughter is very good at marketing we ask her all the marketing questions she she does PR and stuff she's very successful with anything that she markets and she's got this sort of Midas touch you know so I asked them and I asked her and she said you know absolutely it's worth having and I said What's you know, because the last time I had it, nobody liked anything, I never got any engagement, blah blah blah. She said, The trick is this is such good advice, guys you have your main page, your profile page, as your portfolio, okay? So that's your, like your landing page. Um, so you put up the sort of uh, the the you know, the things that you the main things that you do or the illustrations or flyers that sort of thing and I'd seen accounts who just had all these flyers on their front page and then I thought how do they get all these followers you know well the trick is you do stories all day long you can do as many as you like um I've never done stories I've never understood the point of them because they're there and then they're gone well there's much point to them because yesterday I had I got 15 followers I've never had so many followers <laughs> on my Instagram. Um, so I was really excited about that. But um, obviously, you, you know, I don't want to get bogged down with it. But it, it's it's just really nice to share the artworks and to tell everybody when there's a new chapter up. And because I'm kind of in this zone now for the next four months, I want to get the next volume of Immersion finished in the next quarter. You know, it needs to be um, put out there as much as possible, marketed, if you like. 
So I was, you know, reluctant, but I thought, well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So I've got an Instagram. It's called Tale Teller Club Books. And I will upload every time there's a new episode up because I realise that not many people are working on a laptop and going to the blog. Well, I say not many. I mean, I get hundreds of hits a day on the blog. Hundreds. It's really exciting, actually. But, you know, you've got to corner the market. And I need to, you know, get everybody on board here um, to engage with the book. Because this book is... I'm just so proud of it. And it's exciting. And I'm getting really excited for the for the finale of V1. Um, and then to go on to V2. And then I can see a third volume, possibly... But maybe not. I mean, I might finish at volume two. I also want to start the Rat Gang Crew books. And those, I think, are really um, um, uh, Instagram friendly because they're a really young crowd, um, more of a sort of, uh, I suppose, a kind of Harry Potter audience, you know, young children to young teens, I would have thought the rat gang crew my granddaughters don't like rats so they won't read them <laughs> but you know you can't please all the people all the time it's just life isn't it and there are going to be people who hate rats and do do, do not want to read a story about them but of course i love rats and i appreciate how friendly and intelligent they are and i've sanitized them for the book you know they're they're not running around in sewers they're running around on motorbikes and cars. Much more exciting. And they're very rebellious, of course. Very rebellious, which is kind of nice. I suppose in the way that the Ninja Turtles were. Do you know what I mean? That kind of... There, there was a gang and, and they go around doing stuff. But lots of girls. I don't, I don't think um, the girls were represented well enough in Ninja Turtles. Although, actually, I did go and see a movie. And it was a girl who was the scientist, was it not? It was, and that was quite exciting. I thought, oh, that's good. You know, we got the intelligent role while the Ninja Turtles were just being really stupid because they they were really, really daft. But it was a lovely film. I can't remember which one it was. It was last summer I took Romeo, my my grandson, and um, his mum. They came, and and, um, Tyler, who's Romeo's brother, from a different grandmother, you see what I mean? <laughs> Families are so complicated these days, are they not? So anyway, um, I really enjoyed, I thought, oh God, I've got to sit through Ninja Turtles. But I I quite liked it and I really loved the graphics, the drawings. I'm, I'm sort of thinking if I could do something, so, because they're very sketchy. Everything looks like a kind of sketch rather than a photographic, smooth-lined image. Now, I can probably do that with my digital pen quite easily. So I'm I'm really exploring these different ways of drawing today and coming up with unusual things because, you know, I, I'm very bored of um, AI and what, and what that produces. And I'm also very, very bored of perfection. And I think this is where everybody's going to go now. Perfection is going to be so 2023, you know, photographic perfection. Um, because it... it it, it's so reminiscent of fake now. It's interesting, isn't it? Because now when we look at a photograph, we just think fake. But when we look at a drawing, we don't. Isn't that interesting how this connotation has completely flipped on its side? Um, and because AI is so keen, it has been programmed and developed specifically really for... Um, high-end sort of fashion and sales and deep fake pornography all of these things it it's reliant or it's been programmed and perfected for photographic imagery and photographic moving image um and it's got really good at it really good at it i saw a program the other day i saw a bit of it i couldn't i couldn't bear to watch it all actually about um, a young girl in America, or more than one young girl, who'd been deep faked onto a pornography body um, by this one single guy, this same guy at their college, and he'd put it up onto all these sites. And then I saw another thing 
a British documentary yesterday with a policeman who'd been charged with um, revenge porn. And he'd gone out with this girl, lady, but actually he'd also done it to somebody who was under, underage. He was a serving policeman and he extorted images from, from this young girl. The older girl was in a relationship and they exchanged images. Um, and he put the images on Reddit. Can you believe it? Reddit. I didn't realise Reddit had a porn section. And what they do, these boys, is they... Men. I mean, they're acting like boys, but they're, they're men. It's weaponized. They've completely weaponized this um, revenge porn idea. So it doesn't even have to be your body anymore. But it 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 could be photographs that you sent. But this this idea that the the female body is now used consistently as a weapon against femininity, because this guy was saying that he loved watching them go viral, and he loved getting thousands of likes on an image, and that was he developed a kink for it, an actual kink for it. So there are men. <laughs> I mean, it's absurd, isn't it? But there are men. This is a new fetish now. A new fetish has developed where men get all this attention from humiliating women via one of the simplest methods to enact hatred that's possible on the internet. I mean, that's that's what it is, isn't it? It's It's enacting a hatred. But then they get off on it. So they're probably, you know, pleasuring themselves, watching it all, watching the numbers go up, the likes. I mean, it's bizarre, isn't it? Um, but, you know, even if they're not doing that, and I'm not suggesting that everyone's got a fetish for, for watching their own porn go viral, but it certainly a, must be, to a degree, about attention-seeking. I mean, it must be. I mean, I know as well, if I if I put a painting up and it went viral with likes and I got a million likes on it I'd be really happy I'd be on cloud nine but I mean it won't it wouldn't happen unless it I was clearly on reddit in the porn section <laughs> you know um it's bizarre I mean just bizarre life that people are leading these days anyway I was thinking about all this and I was thinking well perhaps I mean I'm sure somebody's you know, utilise my images for revenge porn. I feel quite certain that would have happened because I was uh, of a time when, you know, you you did send photographs to your lovers without fear of repercussions and smartphones weren't a thing. Um, but, you know, you, you, you on your computer you could send photographs and what have you. But now these these things are... It's, I mean, we all split up with everybody, do we not? We, we sp we're always splitting up with people. Nothing's ever permanent. I mean, and my advice would be actually never share a photograph, ever. Never, never, never. Privacy means no cameras. Privacy means no webcam, you know? Because you can trust no one. You can trust no one, but also you can't trust the tech. You know, you can't trust uh, uh, that somebody won't be hacked. I mean, I'm sure they'd use hacking as a... I mean, this policeman actually used hacking as a defence, but they found out she was lying. And he did lose his job, thankfully. Um, but yes, Reddit, who knew? I mean, I, I'm a member of some intellectual groups on Reddit. I thought that's what it was all about. <laughs> Alas, no. It's much more sinister. But then every every single platform that allows private groups and, you know, every messaging um, facility like WhatsApp, all of these things have the, do, do go to the lowest common denominator, don't they? That's just human nature, which I am exploring in the Book of Immersion, which you can go and read now at telltellerclub.com. It's along the top. I've put them along the top so you don't have to look too far in to find the, the episodes. Strata 16 and Strata 17 have been up in the last day. <laughs>